Hi, summer is coming and how about you learn a very simple piece to, to be prepared for summer? Yeah? It's super simple and you're gonna use just a little bit of fabric, a little bit of chipboard and just uh, cardstock or other scrapbook paper that you have at home and we're gonna have so much fun, okay? I'm Claudia Skill from Colorway Arts and here in my channel you can learn lots of simple projects and some more advanced projects that you can have so much fun with fabric, paper and glue and make, you know, boxes, notepad covers, book covers and a lot of other projects. This is cartonage, an amazing technique and I'm so glad you are here with me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, so this is the time, just click below and subscribe so you can, you know, uh, always know when I make a new video for my channel. Thanks so much and let's get started! So let's see the materials, they are very simple. You're gonna need small pieces of chipboard. You can use like 70 points or thicker than that. You're gonna only need two pieces with one inch by six inch and one piece with one inch by half an inch for each fan, okay? And a very small piece of prep paper. We also need scissor, rotary cutter, cutting board, roller, a craft knife or other paper cutting tool. Use your favorite scraps of fabric, it's just a small piece. And for inside, you can use cardstock. I have used this 65 pounds, but you can also use heavier than that. Uh, or your other favorite pattern papers. Uh, heavyweight is very, it's good. And like, use the ones that are printed both sides. More than that, we're gonna need uh, white PVA glue, and I use glue all from Elmer's. And then to apply glue, paint roller, paint brush, in a tray or plate, a little bit of masking tape, one scrap of paper to protect your table, and a piece of cloth to clean your hands. Uh, the corner miter tool and spacers are optional. Uh, you'll see in the video how to use it and how to do it out then, but if you want, they are available in my shop at colorwayarts.etsy.com. For this specific project, I do recommend using tacky glue the quick dry is very useful. So other materials, you're gonna need just a little, like three inches of elastic, uh, a small piece of bias tape or other uh, ribbon, but must be more cotton, a paper scoring tool and some clips. So as you said, the materials are very simple, right? So uh, what are gonna be I will start making the cover, okay, that is so you can see here, for example, what you have, it's one, uh, three pieces of chipboard that I put together, and the cover will be something like this, okay, we have three pieces of chipboard, we're gonna put them together and cover with fabric, okay, this is very, um, one thing that is very common in cartonage, okay, so every time we need a cover for something, so for example, let's see here, I have a box, right, so this box here, I have a cover, like a lid, it's a hinged lid uh, box, so here I have three pieces, of course, that are bigger, but it's kind of the same, con same concept of making this cover here, okay, so Pay attention for all the details I will tell you today. Uh, so this is also like a cover, notepad cover. I have videos showing how to make this and also another um, kind that goes uh, open to the side. Again, three pieces of chipboard, put it together, okay, and then covered with fabric. Here is another one, like this is a sewing kit. This is uh, not really, you know, with three pieces, but we have more pieces, but we're gonna put them together <laughs> the same way we're gonna do it today, okay? So a few, of course, details uh, depending on the project. So some of them I have videos, some of them I have do-it-yourself kits with instructions. So take a look at my channel on my website colorwayarts.com uh, to be familiar and to find other fun projects that you can make uh, using kind of the same uh, technique I'll be showing here. Okay, 
So before getting started with this, I kind of want to tell you something important. So when I thought about this piece, I thought, oh, that will be an easy one, you know, so fun to make. I want one to use, you know, to have in my purse and everything. But then when I when I made the first one, I thought, oh, that's easy. I can make lots of them. And then I made maybe two more and I noticed something was wrong. So like after very dry, I tried to use and kind of the paper rip a little bit. So I said, oops, not really so easy. I have to think a little about, about it. And then, well, I made a lot of them and I'd say most of them are not good. Uh, because I found some mistakes on the way and then I, and then I was um, and then I had to make another one and test another thing so when I design boxes I, <laughs> I never had so much problem you know with so many mistakes but in this one uh, what I want to tell you you have to be patient in some steps and I'll tell you uh, after you are good in some some parts and you know and you listen to my tips and tricks here you can make lots of them and have so much fun but you may realize that you are not patient enough or you may realize that this project is not for you and that's okay you know if you don't like the way you have to make it go ahead find another video and make another fun project okay but i know lots of you are gonna like this and i will also show you something that i made using something from my daughter so it's very special uh and so okay that said okay uh i i promise i will tell you everything about this everything that i did wrong because i don't want you to go the same way okay so let's get started we have our pieces of chipboard okay so very simple two pieces and um and i gave you the dimensions the dimensions are in the description of this video but it's kind of a project that you can design by yourself okay i made some bigger i made some that are smaller so usually i kind of um decided to go with um the side of the paper that I'm gonna be making my accordion okay so if I want to use like one uh, scrapbook paper that is 12 by 12 so uh, that was my starting point okay so I cut in half and I have two pieces with six inches by 12 inches okay so the six inches were uh, kind of what I decided to go for the size of my cover okay uh, and when I show you how to do the paper, um, you can understand this. So it, you can, of course, cut whatever size you want later. I would like you to watch the whole video so you will understand how to design your uh, your own. Uh, this small piece here is also kind of depends on how many paper you want. Uh, depends of the paper we're gonna put inside. But I think with this that is kind of it's half an inch. It's very good if you do that, as I said, uh, one piece of scrapbook paper 12 by 12 or two pieces of um, 11 by 8 and a half. Okay, so this is good. Uh, you can change this if you, if you want to put more paper, like and have your... Uh, this is one I made with 12 by 12. Okay, so I think it's good enough, it's big enough, but if you want to have it bigger, then you probably will have to have this part here a little bigger as well, okay? So it's kind of the weight of your papers here, of your accordion when it's closed, it's kind of match this size here, okay? We're gonna talk a little bit later about that. So let's get started. I also need a very small piece of craft paper, okay? Let's go! The glue, now I'm gonna use glue all from Elmer's, as you know, and then we're gonna start gluing, applying just a little bit of glue right here on the sh one of the short edges of uh, this piece, and then I just put my craft paper right there. Oops. And I glue, glue it right here on my craft paper. Okay? So uh, now, I'm gonna need some space in between this piece of chipboard and the next piece of chipboard that I will be gluing here. 
okay but in this case we have some spacers Okay, so just in case, if you have only the two spacers that I used to have, that is 6 millimeters and 15 millimeters, you're not gonna use the 6 millimeters spacer today, okay? This is too small. For today, we're gonna use the 9 millimeters spacer that is part of the new kit I have with spacers. And if you don't have it, it's easy, you just measure, okay? So this is pretty simple, you can measure and be very happy with that. So this is 9 millimeters, uh, 3 eighths of an inch, okay? So I'm gonna use my spacer, but again, if you don't have it, you just measure and glue the piece right there, okay? So here is my first piece, I'm gonna put my 3 8 or 9 millimeters spacer right on the side, and the other one I use right here on the top, right? So I know I'm gluing these pieces kind of straight and neat, okay, and with um, nine millimeters between. And then this is very small piece, so you just apply glue right on the back of it, okay, and then glue right there on that T you made with the two uh, pieces. Remember to clean your fingers, okay, so you have those there. Good. So now I need, again, the same 9 millimeters on the side. So, uh, and ask me why I know 6 millimeters is not enough? Of course, one of the projects go to the fresh. <laughs> so, 9 millimeters, we really need for to be able to open and not kind of stress the project. You need the, six, the 9 millimeters. So, you spread the glue right there on the other piece number, the other uh, long piece. Okay, and the short edge and then glue right there. Okay, so this is what I have right now and then you can remove your uh, spacers and you don't need them anymore. Okay, and now it's time to cut the extra. So this is too much craft paper. You can use another craft knife or just use, I kind of use everything with the same. Okay. So you cut straight and neat. So kind of our cover is built. So what I need to do now is cover it with fabric, right? So let's see here, I just cut a piece of fabric that is a little bigger, okay? On the sides, it can be kind of half an inch bigger on the sides. And on the top and bottom, give it yourself a little bit more, more space, kind of one inch, and then we can cut, if it is too much later we can cut, but I don't want you to go short. So on the top and on the short edges you go, go like three quarters to one inch, and here when I say that it's around, okay, you don't really need to be specific three quarters or one inch, that's uh, something that you will not see at the end, so we're gonna be covering side and that's okay. Right? Okay, so you can see my fabric has, you know, lots of wrinkles and that's okay. You don't need, this is a very important tip, you don't need to iron fabric before starting our cartonage projects. You will see once you apply glue and glue the piece right here, it's gonna be all right. Okay, so to get started, I always like to put a little bit of glue in my tray like this and roll my roller. Okay, so I know my roller has you no know, glue around, and that helps me a lot. So here, we're going to apply glue on one of the pieces, the long edges, and on the gap. So I like to pick my brush and I go inside one of the gaps first, and right here. So here, in this part, I like to go with my roller, and we need to have a thin layer all over this part, okay? This is the same for all our cartonage projects. Okay, then you go with this piece and just glue, leaving yourself about, as I said, three quarters right there. Try to align here on the fabric, okay? Then press a little bit like this, flip over, okay? And then you go with your hands and make sure it's well glued. Okay, then you use one spatula, if you don't have an old credit card or something like that, a gift card, you go in this, this direction and you're gonna find the first gap here, okay, the edge of the gap. So you press right there and then you go to the other gap 
edge of the gap. Okay. So what I want to have here is I want you to see that it's all covered. So you go inside the gap and cover all with fabric. Okay, so here I can see the glue was it wasn't enough. Then I will go already in the next one and also in the next gap. Okay, so now I'm gluing here again because you saw. Okay, then press. You can go also with your finger. This is a very small project, do you notice? Okay, and then here. So once you have that, you fold your fabric like this, and then you have the last piece, right? And then you spread that well with the glue, all the way, and go here. Very good. So now it's glue, the fabric is glue here, and you have to fold on this side, on the inside part. But I can see we have too much fabric around right now, so now we can cut a little bit. As you said, <clears throat> you can see that it's around. Uh, I, what I don't want in this project is the fabric to like to overlap on the center, so you can just go like this hand cut because you don't need to cut straight and neat but if you want to use a roller or something like that you know feel free to do it and here on the edges uh, it is too much fabric for me to fold and glue okay so in my case I'm gonna use my corner miter tool okay I just put right there and then I cut all the extra and I go ahead here and cut that also that extra so I have what I need and I will show you here if you don't have this tool don't be in panic okay so what I want you to do is to make sure that you are not all the way to the paper we have to leave here one space that is about the same thickness of the chipboard okay so if you don't have it you can just go and cut with scissor so remember, we are leaving space here in between, okay? Um, so this tool is very practical. Uh, if you want, if you don't have any one, uh, you can find in my online shop. You will love it, it's a very good tool. So now we have to apply glue here on the long edge, okay? So apply all the way on the chipboard, okay? And you also go uh, here, this is very important, you have to apply glue. Also here in that part, that little piece, a part of fabric that we, you know, um, that is there on that corner. So, and then you put your spatula and bring your fabric tight. Here in the middle you have more fabric than space, so just do your best gluing. And here's another thing that is important, you press. I like to hold my spatula like in this position and just press there and press here. So that you are kind of gluing your fabric in that corner, fabric with fabric. So in the next step, when you fold that fabric, we're gonna have a very good corner. So let's do the same on the other edge and do another long edge. Just spread the glue. Don't forget to spread the glue on that corners. Okay, and then you bring your fabric and press and press. So it's very important that you cut that fabric the right way. It's important. Clean your spatula is also important. It's also important that you um, Gl apply glue there and then if you you have to press down that are important so now we spread the glue right on that edge a little bit on the back of this fabric and then just bring tight and press a little bit on your fabric okay and we're gonna have a good corner okay so you repeat on the other side a little bit more of fabric more glue 
do there as well. And then you can also bring with your, this is too small. Okay, but bring with your, oh, just make sure you clean your spatula, don't mess with your project. Okay. okay, so, well, here we have the cover ready, okay. Uh, what I want to do now is um, apply elastic, okay. I will show you a few different ways you can close because, like, if you only do it, does not put anything, it will gonna be kind of like that. So I do like uh, using elastic so you can close like this. Okay, and it will be very easy for you. There's another way that I made, that I put elastic that was using one um, eyelet. Okay, and this is like elastic. Okay, you can see it's different from that one. Okay, this is colored, um, one quarter colored elastic and this is a round elastic. Okay, so some different things. And you also could like put a button, but I kind of, I made two, but I kind of didn't like because one side, the side we put your um, ribbon or wherever to close. So here I saw one button, okay? I did here as well, let me show in red. So I saw one button and I saw, and here I have, I did something different. Okay, so it kind of stays close, very well closed in one side, but then the other one is kind of open. So I'm not sure how to do that because I kind of didn't like, but I want to show you that it's another possibility. Just in case, I put one, I glue one ribbon on one side and I sew one um, button here, okay, and I made the holes using a paper roll, okay, to connect the button here. Okay, so let me show you how I did the elastic part. Okay, so I have a, I have some colored elastic sample bags like this in my shop, uh, but you can also uh, find in other craft stores. They are so fun because you can like coordinate with your um, if your fabric. We can um, use even we have I have rick rack elastic that is so fun. Uh, that you can use as well. So here is, let me see, I want the mozart to be part to be in the front, so I'm gonna be gluing the elastic right here. And for this, it's very simple. Uh, if you are using the braided one quarter elastic, okay, I, I have tested and I can tell you that if you are using the same, kind of the same amount of paper, uh, three inches is a good one. Okay, so you put right there, okay, and then we're gonna be gluing <clears throat> and now from now I'm gonna um, use a little bit out of this glue right here that is tacky glue just because it's more it's much more quick to make okay because it dries very quick and um, to do something in the paper part next we're gonna also use that because I'm not really patient to wait for glue all to dry so I think it's a good option, okay? If you use this, that's okay. Uh, if you use glue all that you are using, that's okay. A good thing to use glue all in this situation, you can put a little bit of glue like here on the tray and let it kind of dry a little bit. Let it, forget about it. When you see it's kind of more very thick, you know, almost drying, that one dry quick here, uh, it will dry quick. Okay, so uh, if not, let's use this one. So I don't care really here. It's about one inch from the corner, but I don't need to really do that. Okay, uh, for this glue, you put like, I will you start right here in the middle with my elastic, and then you go all the way and finish there. Okay, as I said, I did three inches. And then you put that small piece of masking tape right on the middle, okay? But don't go with masking, a huge piece of masking tape because I want glue, you know, to fix this. This glue here and later the other glue you're gonna be applying over. So it's just a small piece of masking tape just to help us. So keep it like in this position right here and that will dry while you do the next step. Once we have our outside ready, let it dry like flat, okay? And I'll show you later how to apply elastic, uh, the round elastic as well using eyelet, okay? But I need to be with my inside part ready to test, okay? So let's see. Uh, 
Uh, for the inside, we're gonna be using a uh, scrap, one kind of scrap of paper, okay? Like if you choose something that is 12 by 12, we will uh, make sure it is printed on both sides, okay? It's gonna be pretty. And then you cut on the half, like six inches. So we're gonna have two pieces with six inches by 12, okay? Or you can use, and I do recommend you to start with cardstock, okay? Because I would say, the, what I noticed, what is was more frustrating for me was making the accordion uh, the right way. So don't go, don't jump and go in the first project with your beautiful and best scrapbook paper. Really start with a cardstock that you can uh, try as many times as you want till you be confident that you can do a, an accordion that you are happy with, okay? Because as I said, some of mine, they are not, if you look on the side, they are not straight and neat and that's, I just saw that it's my problem. I can, could just come uh, really straight and neat sometimes. And uh, I tell you what I think it is that I can't do that and you may, are maybe you know how to do much better and that's great okay so uh, so because the intention will be to make something like this okay and then let me show you how I think you can do and you pay attention and then you do the way you prefer maybe you have another way of doing that and that's completely okay so if you are using a cardstock that is like uh, 11 by eight and a half you cut like uh, six inches, okay? So you have 11 by six inches, and then you cut two of these pieces, and that's what I'm gonna be doing today, okay? So that's why I'm gonna uh, ending up with two pieces that are 12 by six or 11 by six, depending on the paper we start from. And again, I'm doing now with cardstock because you can see better than have something with pattern here, and uh, also because I think it's better to work and then uh, at the end you're gonna have something like this that is your fabric beautiful here and your paper it's just one color that's not a problem you can do like I said a beautiful fabric outside and a beautiful paper inside that's perfect okay but this is your option so what are you gonna be doing now as we did the uh, cover with one inch here, I want to do my accordion with three quarters. Uh, so we need to mark or to make our uh, fold our paper on every uh, three quarters of an inch, okay? So what we can do, there is one way that it, for me is the best one, okay? Is the best one why because I can get better results doing this so I'm gonna you can use like one ruler that you have with divisions that you can clearly see where three quarters is okay and this is um, I score um, one score two this is Fiskars but there's others there so you I want to go and score okay uh, lines every three quarters so that's what I can do here using this tool okay this is one way we can do uh, and let me finish so I can really see here I'm really see, I can see where I did one so I put my line and do like this okay this is one way uh, I saw some people having good results even though they just put, let me go more my way here. So after doing so many times kind of wrong or not good results, I decided to go with this way. It's not as quick as using um, a board, a scoreboard if you have, but unfortunately I don't know, I didn't got good results. i show you, maybe you can help me. Okay, 
so I did that here. You can also do this uh, using like if you have a, a score board like this, okay, you can put your paper and go, you know, every three quarters and then you go and score. But I don't know why for me that doesn't work very well. When I use this tool, for me, my accordion is not straight and neat. So um, that's why I said try and see how you can have your best result. Maybe you have another idea and you can do. I also have, I also saw uh, some people doing like folding the first one, you know, three quarters and then okay like this and I also saw some people just going and you know matching here the, the other one and just go all the way to the end okay I see some videos of people doing that so that's another idea so if you don't have any other tool you can just start with three quarters and you go all the way so the, the goal here is to fold this whole piece Okay, and let me fold this one that I just did here. I like to use my... I think so I know I'm doing right. I use the edge of my table to help me. Okay. So as I said, take your time in this process because if you are not happy, that's why I said start with cardstock. If you are not happy with your accordion, make another one, you know, and, and another one till you are happy, till you discover what um, you did right, what you did wrong, okay? So here it's kind of not really aligned, but okay, that's I'm totally happy with that. Um, and here I have another one that is already ready so we can go ahead in the video but I think you got it this is the most critical part okay so if you do this and you found out that you are not good try another one try another one you will be good okay <laughs> good so now we have to put them together okay you can use any of these glues or if you have a tape like this this is also um something that is more quick and i will be using this now um and i kind of using all of mine okay so you just put the tape right here inside and just make sure you are matching exactly here okay i have to take a look at me so sometimes when you do this okay and just make try to glue that as Straighten it as you can. Okay. So very good. And then at the end, I have here one extra part that I did. So I have to cut this out. Let me use my craft knife. The opening. So that, oh, I have, still I have extra. Let me cut a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so this is what I want so far. Okay, this is what I have. And that's the final piece because I use uh, two a piece of cardstock okay and here's some tips if you put them out together and you notice like mine they are not really they have some differences here okay you can see it's not straight and neat you can cut if you want okay you can go like this and cut the extra and make one of the sides more uh, straight 
okay so I will be doing this in mind right now because the bottom of that the most um, how can I say most straight at the bottom part here easier will be for you so I will just cut a little bit those pieces that will be my bottom okay and I'm seeing that are too big again that's because um, my accordion is not really straight and as I said I'm okay with that because it's really a little but if you are not happy with this finishing just practice a little bit more and you'll be fine okay so it's more kind of flat here on the bottom that's what I need okay so now we need to prepare this uh, accordion to be fixed to the cover that we already made right so what I have to do now is make sure okay so we have this kind of flat here that's gonna be better for us we need a small piece of fabric okay that can be this is about half an inch by three inches okay and this must to be cotton 100% cotton so I'm using here the same fabric as I did my outside cover that's a good idea uh, you can also use very simple fabric like if you have at home muslin like this this is very simple that's a good one to use uh, I have tried with ribbon in the beginning so many this making this part and uh, I wasn't successful okay so uh, go with cotton that will be much easier and will, you know your finish will be very good okay I have tested a lot and really this is the best one so here fix okay hold your piece like that close it uh, apply this glue now tacky glue again the quick dry glue that's the best one for me okay but if you have another one at home if you are doing with glue all just dry keep it like more dry like as I said before and kind of uh, let it uh, wait the time you need to wait. be patient okay this is the part we have to be patient okay so I just glue a little bit of fabric here in this part and here in this top it's very important that you apply glue let me show you here like this it's a bunch of glue right here in this part and the best tool to apply this glue for me is my finger okay I prefer doing that so here the goal is to keep this this bottom part here all glue okay so this is what I need okay clean your fingers if needed okay press a little bit and then you see that you have glue coming from the inside just to spread but a little bit more so uh, take your time here this is a very important process for the finishing for a good finishing okay and also to not you know be destroying the first time you open <laughs> okay so then put your fabric over there okay and let me this is too big here I will cut a little bit it's just a little like maybe one inch each side bigger okay but now let it open like let it open a little bit and keep pressing here this is the most important thing you have to have here this owl glue on the bottom and the fabric well attached and glue there so here you're gonna apply that's the part that must be well glued but must be well glued but you have to let it dry and it still be glue okay still be glue so uh, what else I can do I like to put a little bit of uh, glue over this part okay press so again take your time here if you have a bone folder or a plastic spatula to press that's okay that's very good actually because just make sure that will be well attached well glue here so that's where I said I wasn't patient enough in the beginning I have tried to use glue all with ribbon that I was not cotton and that's completely not a good idea <laughs> so now if you use the right things it will be easier and fun to make 
Okay. So once you see that it's very well attached there, you look on the side and you see that it's also, you know, all connected. Okay, so keep it like this. Now we need one extra piece for the, um, to put around here. And so let's see right here, I have this small piece here. I also have tried with ribbon in the beginning and I wasn't successful because it's uh, it's not cotton, so it's very hard. It takes more time to glue and doesn't fit. I try glue all, it doesn't <laughs> help. So I figure out the best way is using uh, something that is more cotton. So, uh, something that I found easy is bias tape. It's not 100% cotton here in the US and Brazil. It is, most of them are 100% cotton, but it's good enough. Okay, so if you have uh, any other ribbon that is cotton, made more with cotton, and so uh, you have around one quarter, okay, uh, the, it's the good one. So I already cut here one piece for me. This is the one, the bias cotton that is double, so I just cut here, you know, like I use my ruler I just put right there okay just put there okay and then cut that's what I did for this uh, to have this piece right here okay if you are using like a bias tape that is single the single uh, folded then it's easier you just go on the middle and cut right here and you have the piece you need okay I think this is a good good way to go. So uh, we have here more than I need. I have here around seven inches but it's too much. You see. So we start I'm gonna start applying glue here on the beginning and on the middle of one of the sides okay the big side long sides and then just put your piece. So of the open part goes to the bottom okay and just glue right here in the beginning. Okay so you kind of gentle hold this and pass this around and don't go tight. Don't go tight. This is another thing that is very important. Took me a long time to figure out. So here you spread the glue here again on the other long edge. No glue on the short edge. Here on the we have the, really the accordion. No glue. You just put here and let it kind of uh, not tight leave a little space okay because this accordion will kind of open right and you have to have that space for uh, have a good finishing and here on the other side you just cut it it's, of course this is too big okay and then you just do the same apply glue and glue there okay so again you see on the sides there is not they are not tight okay on the sides and you can put a little bit of glue here over the uh, the final edge just to make sure that will be well glue okay so that's what i need so far so that's the final part the accordion final part but don't open out the way use one kind of clip i really love those clips here are from dollar tree I use a lot so keep it like that drying for let's say about 10 minutes maybe just to have this very well dry and then we're gonna be gluing this to the cover of our piece okay it's just um, just like that while this piece is drying I will show you very quick how to add elastic uh, if you want to use like the uh, this is one here that is uh, a round one okay this is like this situation right here but I'm gonna be using an eyelet for that okay and this you can use this for any other cartonage project okay applying elastic like that so uh, in this case we have to use um, you have to have a, a tool that is able to you know to make holes in chipboard you may have another one, but if you don't have uh, the We Are Memory Keepers, this is a Cropa Dial. That's the name. It's a very good one. I like, I use it a lot for so many projects. 
okay? So we're gonna need to make a hole that is 3 16 of an inch, okay? Because this is the, the size of my eyelet and that's the size that will be able to fix elastic. Yeah, and you can use, you can also fix the other elastic, the, uh, the one quarter elastic using that. So we're gonna make one hole, okay? And you make one hole that will be like in the middle, okay? And this is elastic I cut around, let's see, this is four and a half, but we're gonna test. So uh, to add elastic like this, uh, you kind of have to test with the inside. So put the both edges of the elastic inside the hole, okay? And then uh, I kind of, this is another one that I have made just, you know, uh, here. It's not the final one, but I want to sh show you. So uh, how to test, put your paper inside and see if it is enough, okay? And I think it is, it is a good one, okay? So you can just put in the position one and put the eyelet inside. inside the hole. It will be more tight, you know, you can remove here, it's gonna be easier. Uh, you can, uh, it's gonna be tight because you have the space for the eyelet, but we have two, two pieces of elastic there, right? So once you are in that position, you have in this, in this same tool, we have here the part to fix eyelet, right? So you just put inside there and press. Okay, and that your elastic and then you can just cut the extra of the elastic right there and then here you go you have your elastic uh, attached with the eyelet right so that's not the one I will be using now but now we are and then the final part would be the same okay so now we are ready to apply to put the pieces together so I have here my outside Okay, I have here the inside that are my pieces of my accordion, okay, ready to go. They are like this, and then now it's time to put them together. So now remove this. Uh, what I want to tell you here that to make sure when you put them together, make sure you are gluing them that when this part here is very straight and neat and flush with the flush with your cover, okay? That's the position you will be gluing and I will be showing you here. I kind of prefer to start gluing the part that is not with the elastic, but it's up to you, okay? So we'll go, uh, so let's say this is the one I'm gonna be gluing there. So we'll spread. Now I'm gonna use the, my glue all the normal glue I always use, okay? And now I need And then I, I need my brush. I don't glue this ribbon, okay? Or this part, this bias that I glue there that is around one quarter. I don't apply glue over that. It's just from there to all the way to the end. Kind of go like from the center to the edge. It's very gentle. Then you do not mess with all the other papers that you have. Very like this, gentle. You can also put a piece of paper here inside to protect the other pages, but I kind of feel that it's okay like this. Okay, so once you have this, you put your piece in this position to make sure you are gluing right, okay? Put it there. Try to align. Then here it's important that you put in this position and make sure that it's here all the way there, okay? All the way there. This is very important. And then you can move there, okay, to make sure it's aligned. But that's the most important part. And then you open and use your spatula or your bone folder and press. But here, make sure, like you are gentle, and you go all the way here, but very gentle, this is paper, right? You don't want to damage your project right now that you made so much, okay? So you just go very gentle, out, kind of all the way here, but don't press too much because just 
after gluing the other piece, we're gonna be pressing all together, okay? So that will make sure it will well glue. So once you did one side, right? So it's time to glue the other side. So just spread the glue here, same way. Let me hold here. So it's right there. Try not to mess with glue so much, okay? Once you glue there, you put in the right position again, right? Close. Make sure it's right. Okay. Uh, as it is, uh, the glue all you can, you know, move a little bit if you need, right? So this is important. Press here over the, also over the elastic, because we are gluing now over the elastic. Here I said, go very gentle, careful here. Okay. And also, Go to the other side, very gentle, very careful. Okay. And here we close. So don't use your elastic now, so far, because it's not well dry. And now it's important, you have to have the clips. So put one right here, right in the beginning, and use another one. Another one and put right here. You can use the part. I kind of like to use in the part with the elastic, okay? So like this and keep it drying, you know, like this for about, I would say one hour. So we're gonna make sure it's all glue, all dry, all in the right position. If you can, you know, wait more, that's even better. And you have a very good finishing if you follow all these tips here, okay? Okay, so the process is, is that. It's very simple and if you are just, you know, making it, you see, it's quick to make. And as I said, just start with cardstock, practice making the accordion first and then from there you will be able to make your fans and be very happy. That, let me show you very quick here. So this is the option when we make with uh, only cardstock, okay? I have a few here that I made with uh, scrapbook paper that are also very pretty, I want to show you. Uh, one tip, of course, don't open, you know, more than you feel that your fan, you know, is comfortable to use. Because then if you open much more, then uh, you can kind of damage it, right? And uh, he uses, you know, a lot and then make more, give, this is a perfect gift. This is also one that I made with uh, a scrapbook paper that I really like, okay? So it's, it's very fun, okay? Uh, here is another one with this. This is one of those that are not very good, that will be destroyed very quick because here it was not very good. Okay, it's not the right way, but I still can use, <laughs> okay? Now let me show you that the fun can, you know, you can have even more fun. I asked my daughter to draw something for me, a flower or something like that, and then she did, and then look what I did. So here is the draw, she draw this flower for me. Uh, it's one piece of craft paper that she draw, and then I picked Another piece of craft paper I cut in half and put half here and half here, right? So she did both the same uh, draw on both sides. I really love it, okay? And so here you go, right? You can have fun with your daughters, with your granddaughters, you know, with your friends. Uh, and, and make very special, you know, this is something simple, quick, and you can personalize the way you want, okay? Thank you so much. I hope you like this idea and take a look at my channel to see what else you can do with paper, fabric and glue. Also, you can take a look at my website and my free online course. We have so many more projects that you can make that are very special handmade gifts. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye!